The cowboy and cowgirl culture is uh, fundamental to America. Gay Rodeo first started as kind of a fight for our rights because we weren't accepted at the regular rodeo. The organization started in uh, 1976. It originally started as a fundraiser for a nursing home in Nevada. A group got together to raise money to do a Thanksgiving dinner for a local nursing home. And they thought, well, we'll just do a little rodeo. But the rodeo charities have evolved over the years. The Muscular Dystrophy Association became one of the recipients of the rodeo. With the uh, uh, but the beginning of the AIDS pandemic, the rodeo, you know, really helped out raising money for people who were affected by HIV. The arena, a farewell to comrades left behind. We, the men and women of the International Gay Rodeo Association, by way of this ceremony, honor the memory of those members, friends, partners, spouses, brothers, and sisters of all our communities who have been taken from us. Uh, there are people competing here today who have been part of IGRA since the 1970s and who tried to compete in traditional rodeo and were physically assaulted, verbally assaulted, uh, more than once. There's a lot of um, people out there that are closeted um, or are different and mainstream, they are not comfortable. So we are all inclusive here. You can be straight and come and compete. Trans, whatever you are or feel or want to be, it's, you're welcome here and we don't discriminate against anybody. Growing up with a military father, uh, Mexican-American and uh, rural Indiana, so it was, there wasn't, um, you know, I did not have role models that looked like me uh, that also said they were gay and wanted to participate in sports. So it's about identity and acceptance of identity and um, no judgment. I think that before people judge us as uh, less than because we're LGBTQ plus cowboys and cowgirls, they really need to come and see one of our rodeos and then uh, tell us that we're not um, you know, fully capable, um, courageous cowboys and cowgirls with incredible skills. IGRA is a little unique because uh, it permits both men and women to compete in every event. I've been rodeoing my entire life, um, and I've been doing the gay rodeo for about since 2011. Um, I just went to it, I'm, and I'm actually one of the straight uh, people in the rodeo, and I went to it to just train, and I met amazing people, and 
amazing friends and we just became like family and I just never stopped going. Next rider! All right, we've got Mama Anna Sherman riding the horse right now. Blondie, 11-year-old Palomino. She's known to Loma Cabrera. To be on the back of that horse doing 30 miles an hour or more is, is so much fun. The thrill of competition, win or lose, it's awesome. And being around these people, uh, it, this is a family. And it's, it's, you just feel very, this is where I belong. Come as you are, we will accept you. Uh, if you want to be a cowboy or cowgirl, we'll help you be that, because oftentimes people think they, they can't. Um, so just, just come as you are is the kind of thing, and, and we'll, we'll be here to, uh, to uh, welcome you, and we'll be here to um, help you achieve your dream of becoming a cowboy and cowgirl. That's what happened to me. the phone lines for suicidal youth that are, don't realize that people, they're young, 13, 14 years old, and they're scared, and they're afraid their family is so anti. And go online, you can find them online, where to go, rodeo, start meeting with people, and get with the youth, and don't, I mean, yes, it's a rough two or three years for you to get out of, I had a rough time growing up. I mean, the kids in my class, most of them were good, but I had a few that would pick on me and bully me. Today, you know, reach out, there's places, go tell a teacher, you know, and help. Some people said maybe we don't need to have a gay rodeo place, maybe we need to more, be more integrated or something along those lines. But as you know, over the last several years, that's sort of taken a 180 degree turn. And we're sort of, we're back to where it's not safe out there for LGBTQ youth. Um, in, in ultra-conservative areas of the country. How is everybody doing tonight? There we go, that's our rodeo family. Most people do compete at the road, uh, real rodeo, which basic events on top of a couple of fun ones that just kind of make it more fun for us. Uh, those skills like singing and dancing, we have a lot of those. So they have a lot more talent than I do, and their skills are amazing. Depending on your title, you have to raise a certain amount of money to help the community or IGRE in general to give money back and also help support what we love to do, which is rodeo. You don't have to settle for what is expected of you. Follow your heart. You've got to be who you are because you've got one chance in this world that is being created by our Savior. You know, enjoy it. So it might be hard at first, you don't know how to get through it, but as long as you got the people on the back of you that you can talk to, even people you don't know, find your passion, find your love, and you'll be happy the rest of your life. I'm a fanatic for Selena Quintanilla. Oh. So I love Selena Quintanilla and I and growing in almost close area she was so everybody just started calling me Selena, Selena, Selena. And then when I started this, okay Selena was the name. When I'm Ruel, very shy, so reserved, I'm like, hi, how you doing? Kinda of like, you know, like that as a boy. 
but when I became Felina, it's like, oh my God, hello, how you doing? It's, I love it because it's another persona you get to be. You did like a bitty bitty bomb. I wish I had more bomb bomb, but I don't. <laughs> I got a little bitty bitty, but that's it. <laughs> the misconception is that drag queens are out there to indoctrinate your children and convert them to a gay lifestyle. And of course, that is not even remotely true. The drag queens who comprise contestants and royalty of IGRA, their mission is to promote acceptance, promote openness. Just the complete opposite of the stereotypical talk that's going on right now. Have a great time, enjoy the show. started by a mom here in Oklahoma who just put a pin on that said free mom hugs and went around to pride events to support her gay son and so there was a need for parents to be involved to support people because a lot of people in this community are estranged from their families and so we come into places like this where we can support people we try and educate people um, and we just want to let them know that we do really love them and we um, cherish their community and we want to help them you know have successful lives and be happy people. But there's just so much hate and anger and people don't understand and we need to come together and support each other. And that's the most important thing that we can do as Free Mom Hugs is just support each other. We want everybody to win, although you know I want to beat you, but I want you to do your best, and if you beat me, hey, I'm proud of you. That's what the rodeo is about. It's not about winning all the time. It's about the camaraderie and the family and the love. Um, I would still be here even if I wasn't competing just because these people are so special to me. Everybody's people, we all got the same heartbeat. Blood flows, we all have same feelings and we're just all human. That's really all you can hope for, you know, you can't be anybody else. We all come from different walks of life, so as long as we're all working together because we're all sharing a common goal, that, that's really what matters. Our mission and our purpose is still extremely important. It goes way beyond just the rodeo competition, the royalty competition, and those other things. It's really about being that safe place. A new documentary, each week, on 52 Documentary, VOA Plus. Scan the QR code and watch it on your phone or smart TV.